A relate is a relationship between two tables, or layers, based on a common attribute field, but it doesn't merge or join the data. Instead, it links the tables, allowing you to view the related data without physically combining them. Here's how it works. You have two data sets, tables or layers, that share a common attribute, like an ID or a name. A relate establishes a connection between these data sets based on that common attribute. Once related, you can select a record in one table and instantly view all corresponding records from the other table. For example, if you have a layer of trees in a park and a table with dates of pruning, you can create a relate using a serial number field, for example. After relating them, you can click on the tree in the map and view the pruning dates from the other table, without merging the two datasets. Relates are useful when you need to associate information from separate tables but want to keep the data stored separately. So if I go to view and then catalog pane, let's click, right click on folders, click on add folder connection and let's create a folder connection with the file geo database that I already have, okay? Select the relate tutorial and click OK. Then uh, click on the arrow right here on folders and in relate tutorial we have this file geo database called relate. Inside we have a feature data set with uh, a feature class called trees and as well uh, this uh, simple table, okay? Let's import to the project the trees and as well the pruning table so we can check both okay let's open the attribute table of the trees so we can see we have an object id uh, the shape a serial number and as well the type and if we open this pruning table we can see that we have the object id and serial number as well and we have the type of pruning and date. So how can we relate these two tables? Right click on the file geo database, go to new and then relationship class. And here we are, we are going to create a relationship between the trees and the pruning table. Okay. The origin table is the trees and destination table pruning and we need to have a output relationship class it will be saved on this on this on this file to your database right here on this feature uh, data set relationship type will be simple we don't need to change anything here and then we just need to change, let's see, one to one, it's correct. Here, origin primary key. So the primary key of trees, if we open, so we, we need to have a common, a common field between the two tables and it will be this serial number, as you can see. So let's choose the primary key as the trees. It will be serial number and the foreign key of the pruning table will be serial number as well. Then we can click on run. Okay, we can see that we created uh, the relationship class and it's on the feature data set. And let's suppose we have this uh, 10,001 serial number or, or this tree and we want to and we want to record the dates that each tree was pruned so let's suppose we want to record some data for the the tree number 10001 we go to the table and we just fill the, the serial number we can see the type of pruning and then we select the date of the of the pruning okay let's let's choose the date of, of the day for example let's fill just one more for example this one 
10,023. Let's choose a date from 2023, for example. Let's now save the edits. Once we have the data in the table, just open both tables, then select the serial number of the main table you want to view, then go to the top, click on related data, then you choose the table and all the records will automatically appear in relation to the serial number you choose. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment what you want to learn next.